Hey guys, Woody here with Express Screen. Today I'm just going to be real quickly showing y'all how to do some maintenance on uh, all of our thermal screen makers like we got right here. Uh, so when I say doing maintenance, uh, there's really not much maintenance involved actually. It's just, you just need to make sure that print head is wiped down and free of dust every now and then. Uh, if it does have some dust on it, then you're going to see a line coming straight through your image. And all that is, is when this pushes through, if there's dust on that thermal print head, say it's right there, then when the screen's coming through right there, you're gonna have a line going down it that doesn't expose. And that's uh, due to that piece of dust blocking the thermal print head from exposing your mesh. So uh, maintenance is pretty easy. First, I'm gonna go over what you wanna use. These are alco pure alcohol wipes. That's uh, important that it's pure alcohol wipes. If you're using uh, alcohol wipes that have aloe vera in there or something or some other uh, little uh, solvent or something like that there's potential that it could damage your thermal print head so you want to make sure you're getting pure alcohol wipes if you don't have access to those rubbing alcohol and a lint-free paper towel or something along those lines uh, normal paper towels can work you can uh, use those but we don't recommend it because paper towels uh, leave the potential to leave dust on there. Uh, like microfiber cloths that you get at your auto part shop or something like that, those are a great option because they're uh, specifically designed not to have that little, or they're specifically designed not to have any uh, little particles or anything coming off of them. So now that you've got a brief rundown of that, let's uh, go ahead and clean these. So all you have to do, the two little buttons here, you just click on both of those and that lifts it up. Now your thermal print head in here is going to be right along where my finger is right there. You see it's that little black piece in there. So all I'm going to do, grab an alcohol wipe and just real quick, we're just going to wipe that down. And so that should have cleaned any dust that I had on there. That should be uh, ready to go. And uh, in terms of maintenance for the my screen and the GP100, you'll probably want to do this uh, maybe once every month or something like that. Since the thermal print head's contained in there, it's not really exposed to the elements. You're not going to be getting that much uh, dust on there or as much as the QSs, which are a little more exposed. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the maintenance for the my screen. Let's uh, move on to our next system. So now that I've uh, given you all a rundown of the my screen, showed you all what kind of uh, cleaners you want or how you want to clean it, what kind of maintenance you want to do there, uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the GoCo Pro 100. I've uh, got my al pure alcohol wipe here. You lift that top part up, lift this up, and you'll see that little black line right there. That's your thermal print head going all along there. So I'm just going to wipe that down real quick. And there we go. That should do it. We're uh, good to go, ready to keep printing. And uh, that's your maintenance on the GoCo Pro 100. Like I said, this maintenance, it's really simple, really easy for the 100. Again, uh, the thermal print head's contained in there, so it's not really at too much risk of getting dust on it. So maybe do it once every uh, month, something around there. Let's uh, move on to our next one. So now that we're at our QS units, uh, these are also pretty easy to maintain and uh, keep up. Like I said, it's still just that thermal print head that you need to wipe down. But uh, with these, I would recommend wiping them down maybe once every week, once every two weeks. Really depends on uh, what you're doing with them, how you're uh, taking care of them. If you're leaving a cloth over top of it, you're probably closer to that two week time frame because uh, you're protecting it from that dust. And the reason we recommend one to two weeks is just because it's a little more exposed with it being kind of out there. Uh, the thermal print head's right here. It's that black line coming down right here. And so, yeah, we recommend one to two weeks. Just kind of depends on uh, how much dust is in your uh, shop. Uh, if you're putting frames on there that haven't been wiped down, that have been sitting for a while, that's probably going to cause some dust. But, yeah, that's uh, one to two weeks is a good uh, time frame. And just like the other ones, your only maintenance, just wipe down that thermal print head that's gonna pick up all my dust and then you're ready to go. And uh, the, other, the other great thing with these is 
if you expose that screen and you see that line in there, don't take your frame out yet. Just kind of look at it, make, investigate, see if there's a line. And if you do find that there is one, just print it again. Chances are that piece of dust has moved a little bit. You reprint it right there and it's gonna expose that line and your image is gonna be exactly what you were looking for in the first place and it'll be ready to go. So uh, that's how the QS2536 works. Uh, now let's go over to the QS200. So last but not least, we got our QS200 here. Uh, to clean this thermal print head, we've kind of taken it apart just so I can show you uh, in a little more detail what piece that is that you're cleaning. And so when it's at the home position, that thermal print head's gonna be right under your black control panel right there. And uh, this is what the piece actually looks like. It's gonna be attached to about right there when you're cleaning it. And uh, you'll notice this piece moves up when it's fully attached, that'll lock into place up and that gives you an easier access to that thermal print head, which is that black piece right there. And that black piece is gonna be facing kind of outward. So it's uh, one of the first things you touch when you go under there. And if you look here, you can see that it's angled right there. So it makes it really easy to find it. You go under, find the angled piece, and then that's what you're gonna wipe down right here. This is uh, normally gonna be covered up by, like I said, that black carriage that goes around this entire piece. And so, yeah, that's how you clean that. Just reach up under there, lock it into place up like that, find that angled bit that, and when it's really easy, you feel it, and then you'll feel it raise up and then kind of slanting downward. And so that downward slant, that's where your thermal print head is. And yeah, that's a, that's a better angle to kind of see what I'm talking about, so. Definitely uh, give us a call if you have any questions. Uh, maintenance on these, like I'm saying, really easy, really quick, just a quick minute and you're good to go.